Hi, this is Talia reporting to you from the 2010 PCBC conference in San Francisco, and I'm standing here with Paul from Grand Hall, and he's going to be talking to us about their eternal hybrid water heater. So how are you, Paul? Talia, I'm fine, and thanks for having me. Great. So uh, let's talk about this product behind me. So uh, can you explain to uh, those of us who don't know what a hybrid water heater is? Can you explain to us what it is? Sure. Um, we're a gas hybrid water heater. That means we're a combination between tank and tankless. We build a two-gallon small storage tank within our instantaneous heat exchanger. That's an all stainless steel construction, so it's made to last. Great. So uh, what's the functionality? Well, um, the problem with traditional tanks is um, you don't know how long you could last in your application. You're going to run out. The problem with tankless is you don't know how many applications you're going to have. It's, oh, yeah, I could turn on one and run it forever, but what happens when you turn on two, three, or four? You're going to have a pressure or temperature fluctuation as well as uh, temperature loss. So by having a small storage buffer tank, we can buffer against temperature and pressure fluctuations during multiple use. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So um, what's the advantage of using this over a tankless? Well, we could get you hot water faster. We could be used in recirculation. And um, your end customers are going to experience much steadier and uh, much faster hot water. Great. Um, and how does this compare in price? We're a little bit more expensive than a standard tankless, but we're much easier to install. We thought about removing all the infrastructural challenges when it comes to tankless. You got to do venting, you got to do gas, you got to redo plumbing. That's not so with us. We use Schedule 40 standard two or three inch PVC for venting, and our plumbing connections are right on top of the unit, so you don't have to reconfigure your plumbing pipes. It's much more cost efficient and much faster to install one of our units. Um, as far as efficiency, how does this compare with the tankless? We're at 98% efficient, and we're mod our modulation range is very tightly controlled. So we don't have a wide modulation like a tankless does where it could drop 20% below their maximum efficiency. We're between 92 to 98% all the time. Plus, by having instantaneous hot water delivery much faster from our two-gallon storage tank, we actually cut down water usage. So we don't waste water like tankless does. So if I'm a contractor who's only installed a standard tank water heater, um, how complicated would it be for me to learn to install this and how would I go about doing that? You know, Tally, we wanted to make this easier to adapt. Um, that's why we have standard plumbing connections. We don't need complicated valve kits. Um, it has a standard TMP that's already included in the package. It can be wall or floor mounted. So, in fact, you could take out a standard 50 and just sit it on the floor and drop all the water pipes right into the unit. It's not that complicated. What we've done is we've done a uh, training program in our partner uh, distributorships. So wherever you're used to picking up your standard uh, water heaters, you know, like a, a wholesaler, you can go in and uh, request that um, be uh, part of our training program. We have weekly training programs with our partner distributors. And who do you sell to? Do you sell to the contractor, to the distributor, direct to the consumer? We only sell to wholesale distribution. We do not do consumer or we do not do retail. We want to be uh, with our wholesalers. Okay, well, uh, Paul, thanks so much for talking to me. Thank you, Tali. This has been Tali from, from Buildu.com reporting to you from the 2010 PCBC Conference in San Francisco. Thank you for watching.